It is a dark and stormy night. I've put out all the lights. Though in the kitchen cooking macaroni right now because that sounds really good to me right now. And we have this from Brandon Macaroni, which is fantastic. It's not like craft macaroni or anything like that. And it takes a long time to cook. I mean, you could cook it in the oven for like 108 minutes. Why would you cook macaroni for 108 minutes? I'm, is there something bad? Anyways, I cook it in the microwave and that only takes like 18 minutes. But I need to go check up on it a little bit. But. I decided tonight would be a perfect night to finally play one indie Japanese horror game I've been looking forward to for a long time. This is Aoni. I probably pronounced that totally wrong. This will be a commentated playthrough, and it's blind as well. I know some other popular Let's Players that do horror games have also done this game, but to be honest, I don't watch that many Let's Plays. I do a lot of them. The only ones I really watch are from friends or people I discover on my own. Uh, there's some uh, Let's Players that I'm pretty big fans of, but... Not who you'd probably expect. The one I can think of at the top of my head would be PK Game. But anyways, though, away from that, though, uh, I have not played this before. So to be honest, I'm just kind of like, oh, I can move the, that, that moved the camera. I meant to move the game, not the camera, silly. Anyways, though, because I unfortunately how it goes is that this game doesn't allow, I mean, it doesn't have the typical recording function. But what I mean by that is that I don't, I can't record the game stream by itself. I have to record the game by recording my desktop and just selecting the area of my desktop which is playing the game. So a new game and we have a kid who is indespicably... Well, his hair is graying now. I mean, I, I'm not the only one seeing that, am I? If I, I've never seen him met a kid. It would be kind of cool to have white hair, but at the same time it's, an a, it's a sign of aging and oldness. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> I, you, you'd think he'd probably be the cool, suave character, but... I know I don't know how the characters go. He's probably the main character. However, though I can't think of an actual voice, so I'll just give him my normal voice and figure it out as I go. What is the main character's name? Uh, Hiroshi. Nah, why would we want to name our character Hiroshi? How do you backspace? First of all, I'm trying. It's not the backspace button like you think it would be. Uh, is there a the the? What if I just type D D D? Okay, D D D. You okay? There has to be a button here. Oh, it's not enter. Uh, Q W D D D D D D D D D D D D D D. I cannot find any button that. Oh, oh, there we go. It was X. Okay, so now that we know how that works, uh, this guy will be aesthetic because he's probably our main guy. So as. Aesthetic. No, where's the door? It's right there. <laughs> okay, aesthetic. And yep, there's no other place for this, so he'll just be aesthetic. Okay. Is there another character? Oh, that's it. It also does not have very great graphics, but they are good enough. We heard a rumor about a mansion on the outskirts of town. Resident Evil? They say there's a monster that lives there. Well, that means let's go investigate, right? Yeah, that's what we did. It's a lot prettier on the inside. Is it just me, or is it cold in here? Uh, hey, let's get out of here. <laughs> What's wrong, Takeshi? You scared? <laughs> Whatever that was supposed to say. Uh, hey, let's get out of here. He's going to be the first to die, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely is. Also, why is his sprite? He has spiky hair, but in his picture, he's got down. Whatever. So stupid. There is no way monsters can exist. It's scientifically impossible. Uh, hey, aesthetic! Be careful! Okay, that is literally how we set up the game. Let's go backwards. Is there even a door there? Did I just walk through the wall? I am a fucking poltergeist. But I can't acknowledge my poltergeistness because it's not according to science. I'm a skeptic by nature. I see crazy, insane shit all the time. But if it's not explained by science, it's not possible. The door is locked. You don't say. Okay, so it's obviously this way. And a dining room. Oh, a <laughs> dish crashed. A plate is shattered on the ground found the item plate shard because you would pick up a shard of a plate defaultly when you entered in this mysterious house and just saw a plate shatter what else would you do obviously pick up the plate shard makes sense to this goo i don't see anything nope 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 
Okay, there is nothing. Just pretty graphics, and you cannot walk over a plate, apparently. If you walk over a plate, don't step on it, because it's physically impossible. So we got couches, and fun times, and, uh, okay, I guess that's all. There's one other thing. You could look on this like a cabinet, but it doesn't seem to be. Alright, after our useless exploring, let's go back. That's the door. Here we go, and there's no door over here. Oh, there is. Where'd my friends go? Oh. Guys, is a... So you guys stop it. You're obviously somewhere in the house, and I can find you even if I try. The door is yep, we acknowledged that before. However though, it's gonna be difficult because there's some doors that aren't clear. Like, is there a door over here? Yes, there is. I wouldn't have guessed that. Oh, a shadow moved by. Mysterious. It won't open. It won't open. Okay. That's a alright. Let's go back. Will it happen again? No. Can we actually go outside? That'd be cool. It won't open. Okay, if you, if you definitely think so. It won't open. Oh, who would have guessed a house has everything closed but the front door? Pretty intelligent on their part. Yep. Let's not lock the front door, but lock everything else. I get it. It's a picture of this floor. Oh, you know, that's so cute because it's drawn in crown. Actually, I think that's the first floor, yeah, not the second floor. It's the floor below. That's cool, though. Nothing wrong with that, bro. It won't open. Can we keep it going upstairs? What's upstairs? What happens if I just go up there, though? He is not here, actually. Maybe he was hiding behind a bookshelf or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be, though. Big guy, where are you hiding? He is nowhere to be found. Well, that's not creepy. Not in the slide. Where are the others? Let's not even question why you're hiding in a fucking cabinet, shivering, or vibrating, or whatever it is you're doing there. You could be jumping up and down for all I know. Is it Okay. This is normal. Yeah, okay, he's just useless, Mr. Hiding in a Closet. That is normal. It's out of here. I know the door is locked. Okay, there's obviously something we need to do in here because I, it's like probably a key or something. Because everything else is locked. Okay. I, oh. oh, okay. There we go. I found the item library key, but there is no clue as to where the library is. So I don't exactly know what we're supposed to be doing. Is this the library? The door is nope. Uh, don't think this would be the library, Yuki, but we'll check it out. It won't open. Oh, okay. What about, is this the library? It seems the most likely to me. It won't open. Is, am I supposed to pull out my key? And is it, well, What's the item inventory button, anyway? Okay, you can also use stuff with enter. Uh, surely there's a way to look at your item. Or is it X? No. Yeah, there you go. X is how you look at your stuff. Item. A library key. A shard plate. Okay, let's use the item library key. No. Wait, wait, it said something. A key to the library on the first floor. Okay, there's your clue. It's on the first floor. That would make sense. Okay, to the library. I'm gonna read up my techie stuff. I actually have been reading a lot more recently. It's probably this door, actually. It won't open. What about if we get our library key? Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh, it's probably the door that we saw as I moved behind. That would make sense. It won't open, or is it not? I thought that was surely to be it. How about this? It won't open. It won't open. Why does he walk away from that door? It's like I can't even try using my key. Uh, library key. Nope. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, something. You said it was on the first floor, so it's probably this last door, which I haven't checked. Of course, let's check every door before the other. Yep, it's of course the last door in the house I checked. That happens to me a lot. Use the library key. Hmm. Well, that's normal. Hello, Mr. Big Face Silly Guy. Where would you happen to be? Obviously not here in the library. Okay, nothing over there. Up here we got... Oh, there. I found the item, bedroom key. But where's the bedroom? Because I haven't seen a bedroom yet. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you where a bedroom has been. 
because there was a bedroom upstairs where I was. It'd probably be on the second floor, maybe? I'll try going to the second floor to check it out. I can't move. Oh. That thing's coming after me, that's why. Barney, rip off! No! Don't get me! Oh, he of course is a fast fucker. Of uh, dirt. Well, that was a game over. That guy is kind of creepy, though. To be honest, he kind of put me a little bit on edge when I was playing, but he's kind of, like, dumb creepy. Okay, uh, okay, we have to go through this again. I'll catch you guys back up to where we were once I get there. Home again, home again. We use the library key. We go in here. We see Mr. I guess that's the OE. Whatever this game's name is. What happens if I just go up there, though? He is not here, actually. Maybe he was hiding behind a bookshelf or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be, though. Big guy, where are you hiding? He is nowhere to be found. Well, that's not creepy. Not in the slightest. Can I investigate this? It's obviously the slur I need to investigate. Now, where's the bedroom, though? There's only a few potential locations I can think of. I'm gonna try going to the next floor and check out a different door. I found the item. Bedroom key. Oh, I should have saved before this. Durr, because I'm gonna have to go through everything again. Okay, I guess I just have to survive. Okay, get away from me, big fat and purple. There we go, we go up the stairs. He's fast, I will give him that. Okay, hurry this way. Please be it, please be it. It was it, actually. How am I supposed to escape this? <laughs> Game over, man. At least I did figure out the right door, though. There's probably someplace I need to hide in there. We'll catch you guys back again when I get back there. Yeah, and this time I'll save before I do it. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, so I went to get some macaroni while I was gone. I haven't eaten it yet, but I just took out the microwave to cool some. And I'm starting to understand the appeal. I, I guess not appeal, but how this monster could be scary. Now, the second run, of course, he chases you. So as a gameplay mechanic, that's somewhat creepy because he can corner you and all that. He does look kind of disturbing, but it's in the dark in this pitch black environment. Seeing something like that would be scary. I'm just now looking behind me and. It's the living room that I see as well as into the kitchen, and it's a big open space, and a monster like that just coming around the corner would be absolutely terrifying. Even if it looks a little bit silly at first intuition, in the right type of environment and setting, that thing could be downright terrifying, and I think that hopefully this game will play up on that fact, but it probably does, because I know this game gets a lot of recommendation, and it's enough of me blabbing on about that, I need to save my game, so I have to go through this over and over again. Also, this time I didn't investigate the cabinet that was locking, so I'm going to see if I needed to do that or something or not. There's the library key, and we see Mr... I guess Oi Oni. Is, I'm just going to call him Oni, like Oni Chen or whatever. Here we go. It's probably mispronounced. Uh, we'll pick up the key, and now we start running because that guy comes. It is nice how the music picks up when he comes, though. It gives a more general feel to the panic that this guy is coming for us. We need to figure out what to do with this next floor, though. It's this one, which I know I need to do something. I think I have an idea, actually. Cabinet. Here we go. Uh, hiding in the cabinet. Can, can, can he see me? Did he leave? Well, I guess we're safe. Well, that's interesting. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem to be too much, but if there is, if this hiding mechanic is used to the fullest, this might make the game quite terrifying. The only thing is, I can probably see this game being a trial and error type of game, which is never the most fun. But you know, it's, it makes explore what the huh? What? That doesn't make sense. Sorry, what the? Uh, okay. What happens if I leave it open? That is, what's even in here? Huh? I am really confused. Let me go hide back in here. Nothing? Yeah, really, there's nothing. Hmm? Did I see your heartbeat? I must have been imagining it. Okay. Let's 
put that away and then let's hide in here again. Okay, yeah, this isn't getting any results. But I wonder, let me just open this door because it's not, maybe opening that door will trigger something else in the house. Maybe open this door. Use the bedroom key. Oh, okay, that's where the key went. Well, this isn't creepy. Hello? The coloring on the floor here is a bit different, so maybe there's something here to interact with. Oh, yeah, you can push the bed, like so. So, what was the point of pushing that bed? It's maybe there's nothing there? Guess not. Uh, what if I push this bed? Okay, I think I see what I need to do. Go back in, I need to push it this way, durr. And there we go. Secret hole under the bed. Obviously. And a piano. Well, I was always musically talented, and if I do say not so myself, I actually did practice piano for several years, so what's this? Mm, don't know. I guess we need to find the combination eventually. Okay, how about playing the piano? It's probably a terrible idea because there's a giant purple monster in here with us, but oh. Well, that probably means something, you would imagine. Okay, let's go this way. Unlock the door. Oh, that's where this leads to. That's interesting. What are we supposed to do now, though? I mean, we've done everything. I guess I should say, first of all, Durr. Remember, Ryan, to save your game. All right, so we're in the middle. I didn't actually investigate my friend, so maybe I should do that right now. Friend! Wait, is there something there? I found the item, handkerchief. What did I do with a handkerchief? He's gone now, too. I didn't even investigate him this time. Well, that's kind of moderately creepy. Okay. I will say, though, next time we're going to continue playing this game. I want to go eat some macaroni, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably go off and do that. And uh, I hope you all like the Oni Oni. I'm going to call him Oni-chan. He's my big brother. I very much respect and love him. <laughs> Not according to science! Catch you guys next time. If you dare.